Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matthew and today we are doing another episode of the Box Showcase, which today we have the NECA King Kong. Now you might be wondering why there's two boxes. Well, um, I know not every one of you hacks actually are subscribed to the channel. That means subscribe, click that little red button down there in the, in the description. Or well, I guess it's above the description, but click it. Anyways, but yeah, um, essentially, I bought this the day before uh, I got this one for Christmas. So, I mean, it was it was on sale, so I decided to grab it, but they literally got it from the same place, so... Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that being said, we're going to be taking a look at the NECA King Kong, which uh, we're going to kind of go over the... Which one should we do? I mean, they're practically the same thing, so it won't really matter. Mine's a little bit buffed up, probably because, like, they kept it separate, but... For the box, uh, here we have King Kong, says right here, King Kong himself, obviously in a good pose. I kind of noticed that, that this is probably something they've always been doing, but they actually photoshopped the uh, figure so, like, there's no joints visible. They did this with the uh, other Kongs in the, in the line, too, I believe. Um, this side of the box, you got King Kong, side profile of King Kong more kind of jungle themed NECA real toys. Uh, back of the box, different expression for Kong, along with King Kong, real toys, NECA. Uh, top of the box, there's really not much else, it's more like jungle and leaves and such. King Kong, uh, ages 14 and up. Is that 14 and up? Yeah, 14 and up. Warning, choking hazard contains small parts, not for children under three years. So what about ages four to 13? They allowed this figure? NECA, um, obviously. Surprisingly, no credit for real toys on that side. And for the bottom, you get some uh, Lego mumbo, mumbo Jumbo. NECA, uh, www.NECA online, New Jersey. Uh, real toys, more uh, warnings and such. Uh, barcode. And then we got some, um, some credits, which I kind of found a little interesting because even though I've been collecting NECA figures, they're mostly pretty much all of them are Godzilla. So they never had the credits on the bottom. So why they didn't do it with the Godzillas, but they did for the Kongs and other Ultimates? I'm kind of confused about that. Maybe that's from like a legal standpoint. But then when we open up the box, ooh, the Velcro is really strong on this one. Um, we get an image of Kong himself, of course. Uh, not photoshopped at all, surprisingly. I mean, again, it's a figure thing. So, and of course, we get the packaging here, and. Uh, yeah, like, there's not much else. I mean, my box is kind of uh, ifed up. I mean, they probably didn't assemble it correctly. Like, you could practically... This might as well be, like, a six-panel box, because NECA does refer to these sort of boxes as, like, five-panel. So you have one, two, three, four, because you have four sides on a box, and then you have five, so you have the swinging door, which I think the only other kaiju figure-making company that can do that, that is, like, or did that is um, Rebel Tech, I believe? But their figures are, like, really freaking expensive, so who the frick cares about Rebel Tech? I'm joking. Anyone can collect Rebel Tech. Um, but, uh, we're, we're just a brief conversation, actually. You might notice that I actually have two of them, even though I just literally pointed that out. In fact, this one is still in mint condition. Now, am I going to be, uh, selling this Kong or giving it away? No. Because, personally, on second thought, it was really, it would have been really rude if I gave this away or sold it or whatever because this is a gift okay this is a gift from my family they didn't know I was going to be buying it literally the day before Christmas which I kind of that I that's all my fault okay that's all my fault I bought this because it was on sale and I found out the to uh, toy store this was literally from that same store and they just got it so that's all my fault that being said, they went out of their way to get this, and even if you already have it, I still think that you should keep the figure because, I mean, truth be told, you're still keeping it, you know, it's still a gift, and, you know, that's just, to me, why people should keep their Christmas presents like this. I still have it, I'm not opening it, but I still have it, so I guess this is turning me into somewhat of a inbox collector, although I'm staying an out-of-box collector for a life. Now, with that being said, uh, that's all I really have to say uh, for this video. 
If you guys like it, definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, Jesus loves you. God bless you all. Go out there and spread the gospel and God's word. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.